Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to show you how I made this bar. This is called Passion Berry Blossom, and it smells really good. I mixed it with a couple other fragrances, but the predominant fragrance in this is um, Passion Fruit, and smells really good. It reminds me of one of the other fragrances out there, and I can't remember what it is, but I will tell you it smells really good. So today's color tutorial is not really a tutorial uh, in the usual way that I do it. In fact, this week, by chance, and I posted this on Instagram, um, I had my orchid bloom, I had some flowers given to me, and I made a berry um, version of tiramisu, and I took a picture of that one as well. And I realized that I didn't really have a plan for the soap, but because these things were in my subconscious somewhere, I guess they came out in the soap. So I'll show you these pictures. So here's the orchid that bloomed. And here is the flowers that I got. And here's a picture of the berry tiramisu. And they all have these colors in it. So I think I was like subconsciously taking in these colors and without any plan at all, I threw the colors together and this is what I got. So let's get right on with the soap making. Okay, so let's do the end cut first, kind of like what I see already. Okay, happy about that. Remember when I poured this that I didn't really have a special order. I just made sure that with every pour that the colors landing next to each other were not so close so that there'd be more contrast. So I can see the darker green, the lighter green, the white, the red, 
and I hadn't done the tiger swirl for a long time. I really need a good, well-behaving fragrance to do that. And there's the top. I like that little white top. And this particular time I combined my titanium dioxide with some olive oil as opposed to water because I wanted to make sure that there wouldn't be any glycerin rivers. It looks like that worked. See I'm cutting my bars a bit bigger these days. I really like that green. It's the color of strawberries and passion fruit. How do you all decide on what swirl to use for various fragrances? It'd be interesting to know that. I always have a choice of what swirl I want to do and don't like to do the same thing every time. That red is really intense. And here's the last cut. Just enough for the end. Okay, thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing, really appreciate that. If you do enjoy the videos and learn something from that, that makes me happy. I've learned that from people's comments. I really appreciate those too. And check out my Instagram as well. And that's where I get a lot of uh, visual ideas by my walks around the neighborhood and wherever I go. I generally have my camera with me. So until next time, this is Clyde and we'll see you later. Bye.